Hunter here with Parts Explained, and today we're going to be talking about brakes. In most vehicles, you'll have three components that make up a majority of the braking system that'll be replaced during a brake job. The first of those components would be the brake caliper. This is probably the least common item that you'll be replacing. And then the two most common items would be the brake pads and the brake disc itself. Quick overview on how these parts interface. The brake rotor will be situated on the hub of the vehicle and to the hub and knuckle you'll have the caliper mounted and then inside the caliper you'll have the actual friction material which will be the on the brake pad and inside the caliper sits the brake pads itself. There's two brake pads per corner and these brake pads are compressed onto the disc by the caliper and that's actually what stops the vehicle. Here you'll see the, the piston on the brake caliper. This is actually what moves the brake pads um, and this is compressed as you press on the brake pedal. When you depress the brake pedal, the master cylinder pushes against the fluid and then that fluid pushes against the piston itself. And when that happens, the piston squeezes the pads against the rotor and that turns into heat and stops your vehicle. So you might be asking yourself, why is there plastic on this brake rotor? Well, the brake rotor itself is made out of an iron alloy. In open air, it's prone to rust. When these units are manufactured, they're shipped in a cardboard box and then covered in a poly bag. And the rotor itself is actually covered in an anti-corrosive material so that when you receive the rotor, it's not rusted or corroded in any way. Typically when installing these rotors, just before installing the new pads, you give this a quick spray down with some brake clean, get all the gunk off there. A couple of things that might lead you to realize that you need to replace your brakes is some squealing, some squeaking, an overall soft pedal, or when you have your car inspected, you'll see that the wear material is getting quite thin. When doing the brakes in your vehicle, be sure to keep the friction surface of the pad clean of any oils or debris or anything like that. You definitely don't want to be touching it excessively or getting any of the gunk from the underside of your car onto the pad itself. Any caliper lubricant can be applied to the back side of the pad or on the edges where the pad will interface with the caliper. While doing your brakes, it's also important to ensure that the fluid level in your master cylinder is topped off. So be sure to add some extra brake fluid to your cart so you can top it off while you're replacing the pads and discs. You, uh, you don't wanna get this on your hands. It's pretty darn corrosive and it'll definitely tear up your skin. So be sure to use gloves, be sure to use a metal container or a plastic container rated for brake fluid. You will melt a water bottle, don't ask me how I know. If you have any requests for other parts that you want explained, drop us a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe, turn the bell on, and hit the like. Ding! Brakes are pretty much just like Legos. Just stick them together.